it's week number 15, the last week. Please, no tears. Hey everybody, welcome to the last week of the class. I'd like to thank everybody for all their hard work this semester. I hope you have learned a lot and I hope it helps prepare you uh, for the future. Now, I don't really have a lot to tell you this week. Uh, the only real thing you need to do is watch a couple videos and make that research essay as good as you possibly can make it. But what I will tell you is how things will proceed. I'll have your papers in by midnight on Friday, and I am going to then go to grade them as soon as I possibly can. Uh, by the time your class's papers are in, my other three classes uh, will already be graded and returned. From that point onward, I'll let you know as soon as your class's uh, stuff is graded, and then I'll wait a couple days for anybody who has any questions, wants to talk about anything. I'm more than happy if you don't understand your grade to explain your grade to you. I'm more than happy to listen to any argument you might have that you deserve a better grade. Keep in mind, this is deserve a better grade, not I'd really like one. Uh, if you can argue that uh, your essay earned a higher grade than I gave it, I'm happy to listen to you. And I'll send you deadlines to let you know when I'm willing to talk about those kinds of things once I get your grading done. From that point onward, as soon as I talk to anyone who wants to talk to me, I'm going to go ahead and enter the grades where they normally get entered, and you'll get them back however you normally get them. And that would be your obligations to this class. We don't have a final in this. We're just going from the last paper. I do want to talk to you about a few things, though. You're about to go into Comp 2 or Tech and Business Writing, and I don't know which one, and I know your classes uh, are all going to be very different from each other. I will let you know that there are certain things that are going to happen. The longer you're in college, the more complex your thoughts get, and this tends to lead to more complex writing. When I teach a Comp 2 class, I tend to, for instance, see a whole lot more comma splice issues than I do in Comp 1 because people are putting together a lot more complex thoughts, and that leads to more complex language. What I would recommend to you is keep an eye on such things. If you start to see different issues pop up when your teacher reviews your writers, that's probably because your writing is changing. I know for me, at at least five or six stages throughout my college career, I ran into a place where I just thought, oh my god, I can't do anything right! And I thought that I was losing all my abilities. And it wasn't the case. If you ever find yourself thinking that you've lost your touch in writing, what it probably is, is your ability to judge quality is a little bit farther along than your ability to put it out. That, though, is a sign you're progressing, and that's a good thing. I'm teaching a number of classes next semester, business writing, comp 2. If I get to see any of you again, please stop by, say hi. If you're not in one of my classes but want to meet me, online classes are always a little bit weird since we don't get to talk one-on-one -on -one as much as I'd like to and we don't get to see each other. But I would love to get to know anybody. If any of you feel free, want to see me, feel free to drop by my office. I'll have my office hours posted as soon as I figure them out. And that's basically all I got. Thanks for your hard work. Keep at it. If you have questions this week about your essay, hit me up via Remind. I'll let you know when the grades get done. Otherwise, I hope you have a great Christmas break. Do your best to make sure you're taking care of yourself. We're still in the pandemic. It seems to never end at all. Um, and that can be really stressful to your mental health. Plus, college is kind of stressful to your mental health. Remember, we have a counseling center on campus. And if you don't get help here and you feel you need some, get help somewhere else. Take care of yourself because that's the most important thing you can do. Um, thanks for being in the class. Thanks for putting up with the work. I would say I'll see you in the next video, but this is probably going to be it for us. So have a great semester. Good luck in the rest of your college career. Stop by, say hi sometime. Take care, everybody.